Here's an example involving unit vectors. Um, it says this. It says, let u be a vector with an initial point that and a terminal point that. Uh, write u as a linear combination. What the heck is a linear combination? That should have thrown some of you guys off. If it didn't, then you're a super nerd. Is it a okay, of the standard unit vectors, that guy and that guy. Now, you guys know what the standard unit vectors are now, right? Okay. Uh, all you super nerds out there, you're like, I don't even know how to do this. Okay, I is... Which one? Is it 1, 0, 0, 1? It is 1, 0. That's correct. And what is J? That is 0, 1. Okay. All right. So how are we going to write this vector, you know, that, that we get from these two points as a linear combination? Well, linear combination is, in this case, you think of addition. And because it's linear, it's linear because it has two variables in it. Um, but anyways, uh, let me show you. Uh, first, we need our vector. So... What two numbers do we have to subtract for our vector? And which number goes first? Okay, the x is, we got to subtract for our first number, so we subtract this number, then this number, right? So negative 1 minus 2, right? right? Uh, terminal is always first, because that's the second point. And then it's 3 minus negative 5, right? Am I good? Okay, so we have negative uh, 3, and then we get 8. This, this is the vector that it's talking about. We want this in unit vector form. So first, the first thing we have to do is um, well, I, I, I kind of built that up for nothing very fantastic. Uh, this, I mean, this is it. You take uh, the first number and you multiply it by i and you add it to the second number and multiply it by j. Do you have to do That's your answer. Now, if I just gave that to you, um, I would hope that you would say, what? Why? Because that's exactly what I would say. Why? Why does that work? Well, let's check it out. If I come over here to, my, to what they are, um, it would look like this. Negative 3 times i, actually, it's a vector, and then I'm going to add 8 times j. You guys know what i is? <laughs> i is what? You know, like, Sounds like bad grammar. Okay, i is 1, 0, and then 8 is 0, 1. When you distribute this, what do you get? Negative 3, 0, plus. plus negative 3, 0, plus 8, 8 plus 0, 8. And then you get 0, 8. Okay, so now if I add these two vectors together, we just add the first numbers together and the second numbers together, right? Ah, oh, so we get negative 3 plus 0, which is negative 3. 0 plus 8, which is 8, boom, we get the same vector. Do you guys see how, how they're related? Yes. So it's important to be able to know how to write that and so see how this is related to uh, component form. This is uh, writing them as a linear combination. So when we come down here to example 6, it says uh, let u be that and let v be that. To find this, what you do is you just take 2. And you're going to multiply it times the u, so it's negative 3i plus 8j. And then you're going to subtract 3 uh, times the other vector. Now, you could, you could substitute in to the i and the j, these guys, and put them all in vector or component form and do it that way. But why do it that way when you could do it this way? It's actually not that hard to do it this way. So... Let's do it this way. So we have negative 6i plus 16j. Now we're going to, um, let's see, distribute that negative 3. So it's going to be minus 6i plus 3j. And so that's going to give us negative 12i and then 19j. So that's your answer. And just so you guys can see it, because someone asked, in component form, this would be negative 12 and 19. That's in component form. And you guys seem like you're getting kind of fond of that. I like the component form.